Hey there, Joe. It's Josh. Talked to you the other day on the phone. Um, just wanted to give you some heads up on how to beat Google here. So carpet cleaning Colorado Springs seems to be our best word, best niche that we can get here. Um, so that's what I went after up here. So there's three categories with Google. The first one being ads. And you can see your competition ads here. They're all posting ads up here. They're paying Google. Pretty easy to get into. The second one is Google Local. Used to have seven people in here. They've just dropped it to three a couple months ago. So a little bit harder to get to the top, but definitely doable. And then you have your organic. And you talked to me about this the other day. Hey, organic. And this is your organic listing on the first page here. Um, your company's not coming up in any of the three categories right now. But I'm sure you can get it there with a little bit of help, and that's what I'm here for. I'm just going to help you walk through and show you how it works. So your ads are right here. Let's jump over here. So your ad, I went to my AdWords account. Everybody has one. I'm sure you got one too, and kind of seen what the searches are going uh, going for. So your uh, average monthly search for ca uh, carpet cleaning Colorado Springs is 1000 and that comes to $13.26 a click. Um, carpet cleaners... Colorado Springs is 260 searches, and that's 1421. And that these are what your this is what your uh, competition is paying here to be right here at the top with these AdWords. Anybody can do it. Um, we could do it for you in two seconds if that's what you wanted. I I personally don't like AdWords, but you could use it. it it's something I, I I use it as a as a tool to get my websites up to the top. Um, but the best best area to be in obviously is this Google local. And also right here on the front page of organic, and that that's free, obviously. Once you once you pay to get, or once you build it to get there. So, um, let's talk about this Google Local real quick. How do you get into Google Local? Well, that 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 takes. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing for Google Local as it is for organic. And so, what I mean by that is though, there's only one set difference. So with with uh, organic, you're pretty much focused on content and links and not every link is created the same so you could get a link from roofing colorado springs that google might look at and say hey roofing has nothing to do with carpet cleaning i'm not going to give them too much go around with that but if you get a carpet cleaning company out of new york that's been around for a long time and they point a link back at your site saying you have good content then you're going to get something from google for that so content and it has to be unique it can't be stolen off of other sites it has to be your content google has to find it relevant can't find it anywhere else on online so you want that unique content and then like i said links and you want the good links you want those good solid links coming in and then the third thing that that goes into this that a lot of people don't know that i'm going to be telling you is citation 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 so when we're talking about citations um, citations are pretty much your company name and your phone number here and so with those two things Google can track and see how many directories around the web are pointing back to your site how many directories have you listed with your company name and your phone number and if you mess up just a little bit let's say that uh, they didn't put this N right here in their in their company name for other directories they wouldn't be found then um, that just leaving out that N are or hyphen or anything like that would throw Google off and they wouldn't be able to find it. So company name has to be the same and the phone number needs to be exactly the same all the way through the web. Even the address has to be exactly the same. If you put street instead of ST, then they're not going to find that relevant. So you have to make sure that matches 100% with what Google's saying. And so let's go to citations real quick. I pulled up some citations. I use a thing called WhiteSpark here and pay for it monthly. Um, anybody can do it. Uh, so you have 51 citations. You can see that here. 51 citations is what Pro Clean Carpet Care and Restoration has. That's your company there. And then you look at the competition. Who's who's really at the top? Well, they have 123, 123 citations. Um, the other company has 143. So our goal or your goal should be to try to beat them and get more citations than them not just more citations but more citations that count Google's not gonna look at you know a small directory being the same as a large directory so they want that good solid foundation that these other companies have built and you can do the same so that 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 citations are huge for that uh, that uh, Google local here and so you wanna get those citations up 
um, beat them. Pretty much what I do with my companies is I go on here, I search, and let's say it's Hydro Clean Carpet. I come in here, I find out. Oop, let me jump over here real quick. Sorry about that. So I find out exactly. I view their sources. I find exactly who's giving them those citations, and I go after them myself. I pretty much take every citation that they have, duplicate it, plus I add another 50 to 100 citations to beat them. And so I grab the best competition and move forward. And that's what gets you up here in this Google Local three spots on the front page. The second thing that, like I said, they look at is content, man. You come over here to ProClean, great, you got a global ranking. Um, most companies usually don't with Alexa, but you do. That's great. This is Alexa.com, by the way. It's a free site. You can jump on here and use it. Um, so global ranking, you got a good global ranking. Let's see what keywords that you're coming up for. So top keywords that you're getting found for is Pro Clean Carpet Cleaning, 76.61%. Carpet Cleaning Pro Colorado, 14.9%. Um, clean with Pro Clean Denver. So you kind of see where your keywords are, right? I don't see a customer searching for these keywords unless they're a repeat customer. And so you got a repeat website right now. You're just looking for this, the same same business. You're not getting new business. If you look at your competition, they don't have a global ranking, but why are they getting ranked at the top? It's because they have content. So they're the, what they're getting ranked for is Carpet Cleaning Colorado Springs, 39.65%. Carpet Cleaners Colorado Springs. 27%. So everything that the guy, uh, person is putting into the search, they have these keywords on their website and Google's finding them relevant. How do you beat them? You go on your website and on the first page, you add 1,500 words of content and you make sure that those words are in there. You're not keyword stuffing. You're not still in uh, content. It's your unique stuff. You're just writing and you give a, a customer um, good quality content. Um, to be found so look look at the content they have on this and and so you want to make sure you have content to keep a customer there give them you're pretty much giving them advice telling them what you're doing so like I said get that content up there and they're ranking for the right keywords we can turn your website around pretty easy um, the other thing that that Google looks at we talked about is links so external backlinks look at look how many links you have you have 11 links um, you can have less links than your competition, but they have to be very, very solid links that Google finds very relevant. As of right now, you have 11 links, and they don't look like they're too solid. Your competition has 60 links. So our, our goal would be to beat, beat them at their link game um, and get stronger links than them. So like I said, if we, if we go back, we can look at both your websites. Um, neither one of you have enough content on the front page that I find necessary on their front page kind of looks garbagey um, uh, just a little bit of keywords here but they have the content that they need in these back pages here and so it just to build build your site up both of you you might have 150 keywords here on the front page not enough of the keywords that Google wants you to have so you'd have to get that up I me personally I because I, I do uh, lead generation I make sure that every single site that I have has no less than 1500 keywords words on the front page of solid good unique content and I, I suggest you do the same um, so once again we got links content and citations that's what it goes around with Google right so that's what I wanted to show you here today um, just so you maybe you want to do it yourself do it yourself I just wanted to give you some advice on how to do it and, and what you're looking for so once again you got your ads easy to get into you could be there tomorrow morning then you have you know, your, your uh, Google local, which you need to build your citations, build your links, and build your content, and we can get you in its top three positions. And then the front page organically, that comes pretty fast also. You just have to build that content, build those links, and build that citation. Well, Joe, it was good talking to you, man. I hope I gave you some good advice today. If you ever need my service, you ever need me, uh, need to talk to me, you have my number, but I'll give it to you again. It's 719-271-2907. Have a good one, buddy.